All right, this is the this is Andrew at Flory PB, and this is the install video for the IR3 04 speed A4 and A4 fly. I'm gonna pick a marker at random. I got a bunch of uh, this range of marker right here. So the first ones are you know IR3s. These kind of markers, 90 frame, uh, things you normally see. This is an IR3, clearly. Um, this is another IR3. This one has the rare uh, 45 frame. This is an IR345 frame. It's not the, uh, you, you can kind of notice it from uh, these and this uh, in cut here. This is specific for an IR3. So that's, uh, not an I, that's not an LCD 45 frame. This is an IR345 frame. I kind of want to show that just to show you the differentiation that these do exist. If you have an IR3 with an IR345 frame, this is the board for you. You have a traditional IR3 with a 90 frame. It's also the board for you. Let me put these down. If you have an 04 speed, these are 04 speeds. This uh, parts done. This is just a standard uh, 04 speed. This is a, a speed demon from Warp Force, but still an 04 speed. These are the not the 05 speeds. 05 speeds are completely different. We're going to bring out an 05 speed board. Of, uh, I'm gonna bring out an 05 speed board eventually, but these are for the 04 speeds. If you have an 04 speed and you want to get it up to up and running correctly. A4s, oh, it's another 04 speed. A4s, this is a carcass, but that one's full. It's a master. Uh, this is a, a force four. It's a yeah, a force four. This is just a regular A4. This is the last angel that didn't come with eyes. Uh, this board does support eyes, so if you have an angel that has eyes put into it. It will support it if it's either a DM style eye, like an old Predator install or a Warp Sports install. If it's a DM eye, it works. If it's a WDP style uh, Master Tech eye kit or eye installation, that also works. So I mean, A4, uh, another A4. I'm actually going to use this one for the install video because why not? And then this was a little grody, but an A4 fly. Eyes, it's the last one that this board. Is a direct drop, plug and play, fit in. Uh, everything past that, they changed the trigger, and I'm trying. I'm going to try to make a board that is for those markers as well. So with that, let's do the full disassembly. You don't have to take the battery out, but I suggest doing it. it saves weight. Keeps that battery from uh, blowing up in the marker if it hasn't already. We want to lose our back cap, or sorry, our back. Uh... Can't think tonight. So two mil. This is sort of optional. Uh, I would suggest doing it this way. Oh, yeah, that's got some not stock switch on it, but that's fine. Of course, there's going to be a sprung uh, guide here because this is an A4. This is when we switch over to the low pressure angels. But I just want to take that off to get the 4 mil in there easier. This is the battery tube. Oh, I'm thinking an IR3. That's an IR3. Take this off because you have to take the battery out through the front. Uh, every other marker with this setup, the battery comes out the back because the uh, LPR is here because it's a low pressure angel. So that was dumb of me. Let me get the right generation angel in my head.
We're going to lose Solenoid Gentle, the Power, and the Cops. The Cops are the always super, uh, super fragile. Uh, I suggest loosening the frame. Take your uh, three mil and at least loosen the frame. I, I kind of like to take it off. I'm not going to take it off the uh, bottom line. Just to make your life easier. So I already broke all the wires free. So when the frame comes off, it just slips off like that. Now I can work these wires out. Just to be careful with them. You got the... Uh, a little guide. You have less room to work in an A4 or an O4 speed, all of these because the battery, how it sits. Just slip the battery out, whole configuration. It doesn't have to be there anymore. I forgot to grab my Phillips head screwdriver. Let me grab that. And the reason this board is, is specifically for the IR3, the O4 speed, and the A4 family, the A4 and the A4 fly, is how the trigger is set up. Uh, the 05 speed, that's a different animal because it doesn't have buttons in the back like these markers do. But also the trigger itself, it doesn't have uh, this switch. This portion here is internalized on the trigger itself. And I don't love uh, that people cut those off in order to use aftermarket boards. So I'm going to make a board that's... A5 tailored, G7 tailored, newer stuff tailored. Uh, some uh, A, some master uh, eye kits when the the master takes the eyes, they would put this piece. They drill and tap it into the back of the the old triggers. You'll see like one of these screws on it. That you can take off and, and use that if that's what you have. You can take it off if it comes off. If it's one of the ones you have to break off or bend it. I'm going to have a board eventually to make sure you don't have to do that. And with that, I'm going to have to adjust this trigger a little bit. It is quite, and maybe not. I use my screws. Now, a lot of times people just scavenge extra backplate screws, but they're tapered. And I don't love that because it doesn't let you adjust the board to account for any discrepancies. So I have pan head screws so you can move the board around and get it nice and tight. I like to get tight to the, the actual buttons. Not touching them full or just touching them, just kissing them. Loosen that one. That kind of worked out pretty good. But that's tight to the buttons, so like I don't like having the buttons flop around. And I want to give you enough uh, room to make sure a button would, would work in there. Or you have enough room to, you know, to get it nice and snug. You can clamp it down. Uh, as you can see on the board, this is the angel style eye. It's set up to, to clip in correctly. It's not like you gotta rebend it or anything stupid like that. Um, the solenoids come in on these markers at an angle, which is 90 degrees to what the LCDs were. So I compensate that by making this 90 degrees. This port is for a DM, a DM4 style eye. If you have like an old Predator or a, 
a speed demon install from previously or a different kind of install that you used uh, DM stylize. You can use that here. And this is for our power. So it comes with our own pigtail. This is a stock style. It is a stock switch. It's just uh, they're not red anymore. This was the, the factory switch from CNK. Is that working now? Sorry guys, my camera cut out on me. Uh, train of thought. The switches, they're a stock style switch, or is the stock switch that we had. It's a very snug fit in these, but it does slip through. I actually, if I can get that back, I actually filed down the little tabs for uh, for these in order to get them in the, uh, the A4 styles style markers but slide that up through it won't work the other way because this is too big so you got to come up that way and to me it's easier with the with the frame off i took the frame fully off i don't know if i caught that on camera but i just you know unhooked it so that's up and through slide this guy back through oh wait this has the little uh the piece that goes like this. And then you. Real clumsy today. I'll get it eventually. Flip it the opposite way. I just grab a little O-ring pick. Slip that up through like that. That one's through like that. We can assemble the back of the marker again. Camera, good. Fully stock feel, everything that the original Angel was like. So now, you're going to going to install this one first. It is the front slot. The label is hard to see. Uh, you can see the solenoid label, the SOL. But the 9 volt kind of gets covered because I have the MOSFET next to it and everything. But 9 volt goes there. The solenoid goes here. There is no spot for the cops. Uh, I'm sorry, I just didn't have enough uh, room. And I just try to tuck the extra wire up into the frame. Like that. Put our screws back. You have offset screws with the uh, an A4 style. You have a smaller rear screw and a longer front screw in the grip frame. shorty front so it's hard to move this one around snug it down not tight but snug yep. that feels good we'll probably that one's dead 
it's got a little juice in her. So nine volt. Fits a battery pretty well. Make sure you turn it on. Oh, and I am touching my trigger. So let's slip in there and adjust that. These were always easier to do. With the frame off, I might turn this frame off. Uh, make sure your triggers adjust it. Do like that. I could have probably used these two. I just uh, want to do it that way. All right, so that's on. Let me just adjust the wire. I positioned the LED to come out the, uh, the LED port on these. Uh, I thought that was a nice uh, look. Gives you a nice clear uh, picture of your LED status. Got a new board in it, but I haven't shot this marker in uh, many, many, many years. Let's see if uh, it holds air. You can barely hear. It's set right now to 10 volts ramping. Uh, you know, NXL style. Yep. No oil, no nothing. A4s and A4 flies are, uh, they're incredible. Like, <laughs> just the durability of these. IR3s, pretty similar, just like the old LCDs. They're incredibly uh, resilient markers. <laughs> that didn't even leak. It had no oil in it at all. <laughs> but right, that is the install. Sorry, that was uh, a little more cumbersome than I thought it would be, just because uh, I'm a little tired, guys. But that's the install video for... It, this this is perfectly the install video perfectly for an O4 speed and A4 or an A4 fly will work exactly the same way for all three of them. An IR3, the only difference is you're going to take the battery out the front and you have a little more room to work in the back. But besides that, it is exactly the same. The setup for those as well. All right, guys, this is Andrew Flory PB. That is uh, it for this video.